Don't worry, Triviot, you are not going to your doom. I got you. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are invading Isengard with the last March of the Ends. Let's get it started. Isengard, an ancient fortress of Gondor. It was entrusted to the wizard Saruman, who betrayed that trust and joined the enemy. Break the dam. Tear down the wall of Bring Isengard. down the walls. Treebeards, we have to destroy Isengard. It's the only way to help our friends. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we have Treebeards, we have a couple of ants, we need to destroy those lumber mills. Every single Isengardian is going to fall today, and I believe. That's gonna be quite tough for the opening because fire arrow is not a thing anymore. Uh, so our ends are gonna be kinda invincible in this one, I believe. We will see. By the way, also 3 bit gives you leadership, 50% armor, 20% range, and 25% more movement speed for the nearby allied ends around 3 bit Look how fast they are, they are running wild. Okay, so we gotta we gotta stop that. What we can do is throw rocks from a safe distance and just ignore this crossbow man. They are no you know, threat for us, trust me. We can maybe attack those done landings. We also need to get some more ants on the field. And there is, uh, yeah. The entire Fangon forest is moving, by the way. And I believe we will need to destroy this kind of buildings. Hey, hold on a second. Why are you in the melee range? You go back and deal with this troll. Guys, would you like to see a one versus one with troll versus, uh, the, you know, our end? I will show you real quick. And it's not going to be even a 1v1. Look how strong the ends are in compared to the mountain trolls. Watch this. Sit down. <laughs> Slap him on his face and then he's just like, he can't stand up anymore. Just kill him. And even, even, even if he attacks you back, you, you can't, you know, you can't deal in a 1v1 with it. I mean, ends are so strong, most of the heroes can also not 1v1 them. Oh, but he's gonna steal the money. No, wait, no, no, we are getting the money. Actually, we get so much money. Holy moly. Okay, that's why it's so important, I believe, to... But also ants are very expensive, that's what it is, okay? So we broke now two parts of the wall. One ant decides to run it down. I'm fine, just run over them. In a situation like that, don't try to, you know, one you one them or right-click them. Just run them down. Literally, you know? You can see they can there is little to nothing they can do. There are a bunch of units, but without fire arrow, it's quite tough for them to do anything about this situation. Just walk them down. Because ants are having... Oh, but he has fire now. Well, he's using uh, this PC smart. But you know what? What you can do, I can also do. Hey, just run them down now. Look how many units we are killing, boys. Lol. That's so... Busted. Unfortunately, ants can't level up in this game. If they could, this end would be level 10 by now. Almost level 10, at least. Okay, so we broke a couple of parts uh, of the wall, which is not bad. But I believe we need to be kind of careful. So he wanna fight melee, I'm down. Let's fight melee. And also melee with this guy. Uh, we have seven power points collected, let's see what we can do with that. The answer is absolutely nothing, okay? But we have a bit more ends around the end mood. Oh, that's gonna be tough now for the opponent, am I right or not? Unfortunately, we just blow up the heal for no reason. Three beards run them down, my friend. You can also the red arrow for Rohan, for our people. No, for three beard, for his people this time. Okay, let's break the wall. And also, he has no pike. He has no pikeman around, right? No, he has no pikeman. Oh, hey, 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 slap! Wait a second, three beard, it's your time. Three beard. Oh, this guy is using fireball. He's level six, by the way. Tribute, you need to go home, my friend. Tribute, where are you? I was ordering you to... Tribute is like, I don't take orders from you, man. Uh, but you need to take orders from me. Trust me on that one. Okay. Oh, hey, 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 this is not fair. This guy is burning us alive. His fireball is also no cooldown almost. 
Attack him, please. Attack, 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 attack. It is time Again, fireball. To walk. Let's use cloud break and also call some elves for the assistance. We might lose three bit, by the way. But not before we're gonna kill the white wizard. But he is refusing to attack him, three bit. Okay, he slapped him. Nice. But are we gonna lose the campaign when we are losing three bit? Let me check. Okay. It's a bonus. We couldn't we couldn't accomplish it. We're actually burning. Oh, oh, we are also losing this fight. But it's actually quite challenging, guys, not gonna lie. I was expecting it to be a bit easier. But you go on the water fast, fast, fast. Our heal is on cooldown. You see when you go on the water? You, but it was too late. It was too late. It was too late. We will need more ants, but we have no money. Elves, would you mind helping? We have literally one ant left on the field only. I like this campaign. It's a bit more challenging. But it might be over for us. <laughs> I don't know. It might be over for us. Elves are doing some something. Okay, we have... Two more ends are... We have actually three more ends here. I didn't even see them. Camouflage. Uh, ends. We need to find a solution about the situation, my end friends. The problem what we get is that we have no money. And we will need to revive Treebeard. But he's expensive. But it's worth to revive him because not only... I mean, he's slightly more expensive than a normal end. But also he gives you leadership. Okay, let's destroy... And elves are almost gunners. Hurry, elves of the wood. Hurry, elves of the wood. Okay, are we getting money for destroying these? Um, nope, we are not getting any resources for destroying these. Okay, so uh, there is no reason of attacking them. If you don't know, the Lamemil workers are also able to deal a lot of damage to us. Attacking this is kind of pointless, so we gotta be careful. Uh, he might always get fire. Are we getting money from the? Buildings? Yes, we are getting money from the buildings. And you know what we can always do? Um, when you think about that. So we can always go to this side. Attack the wall from a safe distance. Because there is nothing that can outrange the ends. Not even trebuchets or catapults have nearly as long range as an end. Ends have the longest range in the game. And with three beards being around, it's going to be even greater. Um, you know what, hobbits? Instead we of doing absolutely nothing, there. you can also go to the lair. Okay, I have an idea. So what we need to do now is destroy a couple of these buildings from a safe distance. And then we, going, we are going to summon our Rohirrim. Right? And with the Rohirrim, we can... Not about killing the enemy units, no. It's about getting them inside the genes to collect the resources. That's what we need to do. Okay? Two hits are enough. Let's do it slowly but surely. And also, the hobbits are easily able to creep this lair by themselves. Uh, also, Rohirrim summon the red arrow has a lower cooldown than the Elven Elias summon. Okay. He has Pikeman with Forge Bleed, so it's gonna be almost a suicide mission for the Rohirrim, but it's it's fi fine. Don't go too deep, my friend. Are we getting money also from, from these? Nice. So, you know what? We're, gonna, we're going to summon it now. Get the money from the ground. There is also one part of the money here. Get it. Let's trample down the crossbow man because they are weak against horses. Get also this money. Oh, but they are not able... Oh, we have heal for the worst case. We have... Look how much money we got. That's beautiful, man, right? So now we are able to get three build and three more ends. Rohirrim, go there. Get the money. Get also this money, Rohirrim. You gotta just play it smart, boys. You gotta just play it smart. Hold on a second. Don't don't suicide. You can also get this money on the ground. And we just peel back now with the ends. Make sure that they are healing up over time. Because look what we need to break through. He has fire arrows on his crossbow man. For whatever reason, I don't know if this is allowed or not. Because normally you are not able to buy... Oh, he was just using the ability. Okay. Now fire arrow is gone. And those pikes are... About to die. Hey guys. I, I just like the fact that they are getting attacked. They don't care about that. Treebit is back in the business. But unfortunately. I mean. I don't know if he can actually do the bonus on us. We lost them once. But we killed Saruman. So it was a 1v1 fair fight between Treebeard and Saruman. Not really a 1v1. Look how much money we have. We will make an end army boys. 
The Lord of the Rings in the end game. Get it? Get it? Okay, we have Cloudbreak. Elven allies for the worst case. Uh, which we might need to use in order to deal the enemy uh, to kill the enemy crossbow men, especially the ones with the fire. They need to be level two for the fire, so there are only few of them which can use fire. Okay, we are defending ourselves. Make sure that the hobbits are cloaked. Losing them is gonna make us lose the campaign, lose the mission at least. Okay, so now we gotta make sure that Treebeard is leading the fight. We have a couple of options, guys. So either we are gonna run it down, literally, by just closing our eyes and right-clicking the dam, <laughs> so and hope that it's gonna be enough to break through it, or we gotta fight slowly but surely up to this point. Um, I'm I'm thinking about it. Okay, I mean, yeah, I believe we can also play it slow, but I would just rush it down, you know. I would just like to rush it down. There is much to Look do. how many ends we have. So we can make like two armies. The ones for the front line with the melee attacks. The other ones like uh, siege works from behind. But I believe if I remember correctly. It's been a really long time since I played this mission. Um, the ends in the melee attack are dealing a bit more damage to the buildings. Than the ends which are throwing rocks. And also throwing rocks is extremely slow. So we need to wait for the last one. And we are ready to go. We are ready to go. Does he have any water? Yeah, he has water. We can use this water later on to actually... Because we're gonna, you know, be in problem. When they, when they have fire, our ends are gonna take damage over time. Okay, anyways, let's run it down. Let's play it smart. Let's play it slow. Let's destroy every single building and we're gonna get some more money because of, the, of that reason. That will also allow us to get even more ends recruited. Some call me. So look how fast they are with three beards. So you guys are gonna throw rocks. You are the number two. You are the number one. Just kill everything. A fine hit. Kill the, is this Sharku? Yeah, it's Sharku. Sharku, what are you doing there? Sharku, my friend. Now you see him. Look, the, the, the pikes are scared too. Charku. Charku is getting slapped by ants. And this is not me for me too, my friend. In which ants are not dealing damage to... Um, say it. In which ants are not dealing damage to heroes. This is Battle for Middle Earth 1. In which ants are slapping. We are able to summon the Alvin allies too. Just do this. Why not? Bring up the Ro Rohirrim as well. To get the money from the ground. Okay, look how much money we have. We have enough now for three more ends, literally. And even more than that, four ends, almost five, are gonna come very soon. A fine hit. A fine hit. A fine hit. I mean, I, I, I have the feeling that you can't say anything else but a fine hit. I, I was wrong. I was clearly wrong. Yeah, it was not looking good at the beginning, but we made it happen, boys. By just playing it smart and slow. Okay, now you guys are running it down. He has no more buildings, which means he can't recruit any more units. You guys also going inside the jeans. He has no fire yet. He can use heal. There we go. Look, this water on the ground. <laughs> it's so funny. What is that? That's ground view, and this is general view. Okay, our ends are just killing everything at this point. They're also breaking through it slowly but surely. It was easier than it was looking like at the beginning of the mission. Because when I saw Saruman actually using fireball in like uh, three fireballs in like three seconds, I was like, holy quackamole, that's gonna be a tough one. But then we got so much extra money from these buildings and we were able to literally get a huge army of ants and we have even more coming. That's not even all we got. And it's a matter of time, we will be able to break through this and Isengard will be floated just like that. If you enjoy this kind of content, guys, please make sure to be subscribed to the channel and also check me out on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash beyondstandard if you wanna see me live streaming and broadcasting some BFME games. Break through it, my friend. Look, I'm walking like a boss, ladies and gentlemen.
I mean, I gotta be honest, for a game from early 2000s, these graphics are not bad. Seriously. We also need to uh, remember that this is a real-time strategy game, right? And it's not like meant to be awesome in terms of, or professional in terms of graphic design. Look, I isn't got gas. It's Connors. GG well played. I mean, we haven't. We, we won't be able to keep Tribeard. Tribeard is exclusively for this one mission. We won't be even able to recruit him later on during the campaign. Mer hey, they look at this. They almost killed the same. They killed actually the same amount of units in total. They are both level 3 and they were able to complete 4 missions. Okay, continue. And I believe now we need to switch to the Gondor. Until now, we were playing with the Hobbits or with Rohan. Sauron's wrath will be terrible. But yeah, now we also need to uh, get to Faramir, because that's going to be the time for the Captain of Gondor to finally show his quality. No Fitzilian is going to be the next mission for tomorrow, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will hopefully see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. And as always, keep hitting like a truck and also stay beyond standard. Peace out. Yeah. <sighs>